so my presentation is going to be about the custom distribution uh, build service. So this project was basically um, basically thought out as a replacement um, for having to you know build all of the Jenkins um, Jenkins war files using using the custom using the war um, by downloading the war and then you know beginning all of your work. So let me just introduce my mentors first. My Kristen and Martin uh, and Oleg was a technical advisor in the project, helping out on all um, technical issues. So yeah, what's this project all about? So we tried to address major four features. One of them was having an out of the box usable Jenkins distribution, um, a simple user interface. So for users to be able to configure the plugin, the plugins right out of the box by making it very, very simple. So as you can see, it's it's supposed to be very uh, user friendly to use. Community shared configurations. This was one of the most demanded features on the thread that was that only originally conceived the project. Uh, there were there was a lot of demand for having configurations that are being widely used around the community. So be it AWS or be it uh, be it a Kubernetes plugin, uh, users wanted to have a community shared configurations page where they could share. Uh, where they could reuse um, configurations that were developed, um, you know, by people around the world. And the last one was easy access. So sometimes there have been complaints that uh, it's difficult to access the plugin, the update center. Um, this um, service tries to circumvent that problem and tries to add easy access to be able to, you know, um, you need to add your custom, um, maybe your custom update center that you can you know, download um, plugins from, you can view plugins from and so on. So that's major four features that we're targeting. Um, yeah, what was the current problem? I'll not spend too much time on this because I've already explained most of it. Um, for many users, they download Jenkins first and after downloading that they select plugins and configure them. So this might take a lot of time and uh, we try to reduce that time using the custom dis distribution build service. That contains all you need on a web application online and you can easily do it without in the comfort of your browser. Okay, what was the project motivation? Um, so we work hard so you, you don't have to. Um, so we do all of the heavy lifting um, and you just have to download the war and you can run it right out of the box with all of your plugins configured very, very easily. Okay, so I'll just run through the major features that were implemented. These are a collection over all of the three phases. So we started out with the bare bones, the package config, config generation. Uh, you need the package config generation. It's a YML file. And this YML file is then used by the custom war packager to package it into a war file. So you needed that. So we went ahead and you did that in the first phase. Then came the war generation sequentially. Uh, after you had the package configuration, you could then generate the war. The third one was to able to uh, ability to configure custom packages. Um, so after that, we added the features to be able to not only generate custom packages, but also be able to edit them live on the editor, and then you can make changes right out of the box. So if you say you downloaded a particular Jenkins version and not happy with it, you can go ahead and change the Jenkins version and it will, down, it will regenerate the war file for you. Uh, the community configuration as requested, one of the most uh, requested features. So having having uh, community configurations where you can use Blue Ocean or maybe AWS Kubernetes and so on and so forth. Uh, the next one was the ability to download war. So up, to, up until phase two, you only had the generation. Uh, we then supported we then supported downloads, uh, so you could you could click a button and uh, download the WAR file right out of the user interface. The ability to search and download community configurations. So after adding support for community configurations, we added the support to then search and download them. Um, you also have, if I'm not mistaken, you can add your own repository URL. So if you are not comfortable with using the Jenkins community configuration URL, you are free to use your own URL. Uh, the ability to share community configurations, again, that's an extension of, of shared community configurations. You can yourself contribute to the immense repository that's there. Uh, there, is, there are a couple of repositories. There is one by even Rick, which I will demo later on in the project. Um, he, he maintains something called as Jenkins formulas, and uh, they are a collection of ready uh, in usable Jenkins uh, distributions and self-hosting cap capability. This was one that we weren't quite sure about in the middle of the phase uh, because we, we needed permissions to host it on Jenkins. Uh, so we decided to add this feature anyway. So it is now self-hosted 
as, as well. I mean, it has the ability to be self-hosted. So if you want, you can um, spin up by just a, two commands. You not just need to have Docker on your system and you can, with two commands, you have the entire service up and running in minutes. So yeah, that's another uh, amazing feature that we have. Okay, uh, making the initial Jenkins setup simple. So I'll just walk you through the steps that you use for generating. Um, I hope this is not, okay, yeah, this is not uh, objecting. So you select your favorite plugins that you need. Uh, you then customize the configuration. And after that, you just relax because after customizing the configuration, the heavy lifting is then done by us because you just then need to generate the package. And if you want, you can download the package or you can proceed with generating the WAR file. So the service will take care of generating the Jenkins.war for you. You just need to download and run. Okay, where is this app hosted? So the app is currently hosted on customize.jenkins.io. Um, I will be, uh, while I do my demo, I will be taking you out of the slides. Um, so you can have a look at it later on. Wait, there's more. So you can also download, yeah, as I said in the, uh, the previous slide, as I was going to take you forward, the Jenkins formulas is a repository that you would want to check out. Uh, it has, it has pre-built configurations for Jenkins, like Blue Ocean and so on. You can, you can definitely use them out of the box and you can put those URLs into the custom distribution self-hosted version if at all you want to run it uh, self-hosted. Oh, time for some demos. Uh, okay, let's, let's go out. Um, okay, yeah. So as you can see, this is the plugin page. Um, we have all of the plugins that we pull in from the update center, the Jenkins update center and uh, over 1,700 plugins. Uh, one major challenge of this particular implementation was how was, this was taking too long to load, sometimes pulling in 1,700 plugins. So we have caching support for that now, fortunately. And uh, yes, so you, so the steps are, so I'm just going to be adding a few uh, plugins. Uh, you can, you can just choose them. If you want, you can even sort them out. So most installed, uh, trending and so on relevant, according to your liking. So if you want by trending, you can just sort them. So yeah. Um, I'll just select a couple of them. The next thing that you, after selecting your plugins, you do is you submit your plugin and on submission, you will get a model. And on this model, you can enter all of your details. So you have the J Jenkins online meetup. You enter a, a Jenkins version. You enter the artifact ID. So if you, whatever you want to name it, suppose if you're developing a one where it's a JCast, um, a sort of package, you can rename it as per. So this is, Demo purposes. Okay. Furthermore, if you wanted a Docker build, you can include a Docker tag. Um, currently there are uh, a few issues. There's a disclaimer. There are a few issues with the Docker, uh, building inside because this runs in a Docker container and then we have a Docker in Docker. That's a bit of a disclaimer. Um, so you can include the build tag though, because we wanted that feature to be support. You click generate package. Configuration. So yeah, as soon as you hit generate package configuration, uh, the, the service generates a package for you. All of your plugins come right in as you selected um, previously. And after you select all of these things, you can then, you have two options. So you can either download the WAR file or you can download the package or configuration. So if I just download the package or configuration, as you can see on the left of my screen in my cursor, you will have your YML downloaded. So, so you'll ask me what's the advantage of having a YML. Uh, so the Jenkins custom WAR packager currently takes this file and generates a generates a war package for you. So if you are not, um, if you do not want to use the service and you want to use your custom war package, you can use that as well because this takes in, because the custom war package takes this as an input. So yeah, uh, just before I demo the war file, um, I would like to come to the community configurations because that's where, um, that's where the minimal working configuration of, um, you know, of Jenkins is hosted and we have a valid Jenkins version there. Uh, so yeah, so we have two versions. Uh, this, these two YMLs are currently hosted right here. So if you see, yeah, custom Jenkins distribution service community configuration, this repository will down the line be hosted by Jenkins, uh, on their, on their repository page, um, on their GitHub organization. I'm so sorry. Um, where you will then find all of the configurations. So whatever configurations you can see here, those are the same configurations you can see here. So that's what's essentially happening. As in when we expand these community configurations list, you can add, you will find more and more community configurations listed out here. So they will be named AWS, Azure, and so on and so forth. Blue Ocean and, and, and so on. Okay, uh, yeah, so after, so after you have them all displayed in this page, 
you can definitely choose to change the version if you sorry the url that you would like to point this community configuration to so if you're not happy with custom distribution service community configuration that's not a problem you can enter your own url um, for your where your repository has been hosted for community configurations yeah so if you click to view details yeah so if you click to view details you see one of the um, that one of the sample configurations that i had set up so it generally loads the entire configuration and you can then uh, click on download warfi so i would like to show you the output so yeah when you click on warfi what happens is uh, the custom war package on in the background runs the entire um, generation of of the warfi so i'll just be i'll just be waiting for a few seconds around it takes around 20 25 seconds to to bundle all of the plugins so while we while we wait for that um the, the war packager uh, built by oleg built and maintained by oleg is one of the heavy lifters of the custom distribution service and it uses it relies on the custom war packager to package and bundle um one of the current one of the features that we plan to include here is the ability is for more um for more robust errors so currently if something goes wrong you might not get a very good error message on the on the screen and that's uh, that's something that we will try to improve in the future so yeah as you can see the war file is being built mm -hmm. <clears throat> i think it should take a few more seconds yeah there it is so yeah as soon as the war file completes building it 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 happens in a um, it happens in a temporary folder so as soon as you you have the war file it returns it so as you can see there are almost I've, i've been generating war files for a long time so there are 13 of them but yeah this is the war file that you can just run with jenkins jar jenkins war that's the that's the command and then you can spin up the jenkins war file with all of the with all of the plugins pre bundled so whatever you have selected here configuration as code um ci matrix auth so on all of them will be just bundled in that war right on the box so you don't have to leave your browser um yeah that's uh, i think is that is it for all of the all of the demonstration of all of the features one thing i would like to show you is the repository uh the repository is self hosted so you can use just docker compose build and docker compose up and you'll have the service running up in seconds uh, apart from that if you do want to add certain configurations we have the environment files supported uh, that is a pull request still in development so it might it might it might come um might come soon uh where you where you can change your you environment variables inside of environment files so yes that's uh that, that was one of the one of the features that that is coming uh last i wanted to talk about how can you participate so we have our github distribution service as a, uh, the service hosted on the repository um we also have a github chat where you can ping in or send in your queries feedback questions and so on and we also have a project link so the project link has been updated with all of the phases all of the development that was done throughout all of the phases we have also the demo links of the previous phases there uh what's next so i wanted to talk about what's next because the plugin has a lot of the the service has a lot of potential uh and it is there are a lot of features to come i think 3 months to be honest was less to implement a plethora of features that we tried to put in but yeah there are still that need to go in uh so if you don't mind i can take you a a bit back to the road map when as you can see there are a lot of um issues here but uh, where to yeah here is road map so one of the things yeah one of the things for the road map uh, is a prototype for the jcas creation so jenkins configuration as code is very popular among the community and we would like to support that as well so if you see this page right here you just have you just have your bundles and stuff uh, but if you if you want to include something like a, uh, a jcas section um we would like to support that as well where you just put in your jcas can you have your jcas yml as a as a as a support so you can definitely include that as well here and then you will have not only your bundles packages and plugins but you'll also have your jcas yml supported so you can you can just start your jenkins work right right out of the box with a few clicks that is one of the most uh, features for the roadmap one most important one uh apart from that we wanted to support running the service on windows that's a feature that is that that might be coming way way down the line uh another thing that we want to support is pull request creation so currently 
you can only you can only view them so what if i create a new configuration here and i want to create a new pull request or i want to share it with the community that's a feature that we've been planning for the roadmap ahead uh, so that you can just create a pull request using maybe github bots like ci or jenkins.io has a github application maybe we can leverage of that to create pull requests inside repositories that's one of the features for the roadmap and uh, another one was um, yeah i don't this is uh, unable to that's not a roadmap i'm sorry just taking note of that for a minute and uh, explore synergy with image controllers so this is still under development and discussion uh, we were like we would like to take a look at this later on uh, this basically deals with the kubernetes operator and the sort of images that red hat has on their repository list and maybe we can support creation of images uh, right out of the box so that you can not only now generate a war file but you can also generate an image uh, so yeah that's 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 for the roadmap um and yeah that's that's about it for my presentation uh, for my demo lastly just before i finish i would like to thank my mentors kristen and martin they have been super super helpful throughout the entire gsoc phase they've, they've helped me in almost all of the uh, all of the holes that i've dug myself into um and oleg as well on occasions uh, to to help me with all of the technical stuff um yeah so i would like to thank them and i really really appreciate it uh for giving the time out during this covid pandemic it's not easy uh but yeah we we we've, we've kind of managed it and i'm i'm happy to show you that it's also been hosted on 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 its own domain so i i completely forgot about this so it's it's also hosted on customize.jenkins.io uh, however there are bugs here uh, this is not fully functional as of now there are you you might receive some 404 errors uh but yeah it, it is also hosted on customize or jenkins or io so if you want to play around uh we need to still patch up a few things but uh, we do have an alpha version deployed um on it so yeah i think the project has been has been has been really 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 great so yeah that that's it i'm handing over uh the mic back to all like so i think we'll stop sharing okay Okay, Oleg. Okay, maybe Oleg is uh, not. Oh, he's no, back. No, I'm actually here. Uh, I was okay. just uh, trying to unblock myself. Um, yeah. And so, thanks a lot uh, for the demo. I'm great to see that it's working. Yeah, there is a lot of stuff here and there to complete. So, yeah, probably the scope was too big. Uh, but yeah, we started so many stories. Uh, many of them seem to be finished. No, uh, but still, it's a great proof of concept. Yeah, custom Jenkins work package as a service. Uh, hopefully, it can be expanded from that uh, to support more and more user features. And yeah, I'm looking forward to see what will be user feedback there. So, thanks for doing that. I think it's a quite important step for the Jenkins ecosystem. Now I'd like to thank uh, Sladin for his work on, 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 on creating this uh, this web app. And one of the things that I really like about it is, I can, I can, I can, I can use it on my local host. So if I'm working on configurations that cannot be shared with the world, um, I can run this entirely locally. So that that was one of um, that was one of the features, I guess, um, which was which was important is the ability to run sort of behind a firewall. So uh, if you don't have to use the hosted one, if you have some private configurations that you need to be working on, just wanted to enhance that capability <laughs> or promote it. Right. And it's been great. Like it's been a great project. That like this summer has been very good, and it's been really great to see the pro the tool be built, and to see like it kind of developing through the different phases, and see the UI, and knowing it's essentially like two different applications running. So Slate had to create like two different things and like doing a whole front end and a back end. So it, it's really interesting to see the tool come together and it's really amazing to see it posted in kind of its alpha form. So congrats, <laughs> you did a great job this summer. So. Thanks.